Okay, okay, hi everyone. This is Freezer Cold back again um, with with the with a little message for all of you. Now, as you can see, um, I'm uh, I'm I'm revealing my face yet again um, for something that is really intriguing. Now, I have been working around the clock to work on my latest EP, which is entitled "Back from the Dead." It is true that I'm presenting to you the the track list for this uh, um, for this EP. So without further ado, here we go, shall we? The very first track is a feature. It is from C I N and Chandler Fogel, and it is called Icy. Now, originally I saw this on Chandler Fogel's uh, YouTube channel, and I wanted to put my little mix on it, because of course, Icy, Frieza, Frost, King Cold, Cooler, all, all of those are cold puns, and I wanted to make sure that this, uh, this, this album, this EP in itself is very dark, it's very twisted, it's very um, tyrannical in nature. Um, I wanted to give this a little twist. Um, so with that said, um, I'm I'm actually dissing yet one 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 character which I will uh, talk about in um, really soon. But uh, but yeah, this uh, this this track uh, I see from CIN and Chandler Fogel is just a friendly fun um, introduction to uh, to get into it. But then, as as we get going on on the the tracks that continue, the lyrics get pretty dark really quick. Um, just a fair fair warning, um, mostly because it's uh, back from the dead. It's like a vampiric zombified version of um, what Frieza might be, um, and so yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, the second track is back from the dead. Um, the entitled track from this uh, EP, and I love I love this. When I wrote the when I wrote the lyrics, I decided to say, okay, what what can I do? Oh, let's uh, let's put this in. Let's add this rhyme here. Let's add this scheme here, and um, it's 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 quite it's it's quite intriguing. It's it's quite dark, and I love it. I absolutely love it. It's truly amazing, and um, yeah, track number three is a Bakugo diss. Yes. I am dissing Katsuki Bakugo because I mean why the fuck not? Um, Bakugo, to in my opinion, is a rowdy, uh, inconsiderate piece of work, and um, yeah, I just wanted to make a diss track to him. And um, for those of th those of you who are fans of Bakugo, let me tell you, I'm not offending you guys. I'm just saying, okay, I don't, I really don't like this character as much. The idea, the concept of Bakugo is a great idea, but at the same time, I'm a little iffy, I'm a little skeptic about that character. So, with that said in mind, it's, 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 it's just one of those, uh, one of those characters who you second guess, like, do I like him? Should I like him? Because all he does is say, die, 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 you nerd, extras, a bunch of that. And for for the for the most part, that just doesn't doesn't make sense to me. Um, track number four is called Rise of a Darkly Empire. Now I actually wrote the lyrics of um of, of this. This was actually a poem that I wrote. And I've I've learned that when I wrote poems, uh, especially horror poems, it was more lyrical than poetic. So I wanted to, I wanted to make a little bit, go back in time and and, and remix a few, um, a, a few, uh, and and it, I'm you know I'm I might I might uh, I might post the old, the old albums um, on um, on this channel. Who knows? I might do it. I might not. Um, so yeah, the the Darkly Empire. It's it's pretty much a like a a vicious empire that is built 
to crush and destroy. Um, so that's pretty much it. Track number five, however, is called Gabrielle the Demoness. And this track is very, um, it, 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 it goes on the side note of um, Maleficarium darkness um really uh not not religious but uh what's what's the word mythological yes mythological um creatures gabrielle um is uh is 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 pretty much like a, a a dark a dark character that symbolizes the entities of evil and um and grotesque uh personas of monsters and seductresses and witchcraft assaults so so yeah that, that that goes that goes along with it um that track is is quite quite dark but there's a little bit of romanticism with gothic romance and so on and so forth so it's 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 a little a little mix mash um and then track number six is called the empire's wrath i wanted to make a track that is really known that if you mess with uh, Frieza, then Frieza's going to give you pain and grief and suffering. And so that's that's pretty much uh, the, the the case, the, the scenario. And then track number seven is pretty much a message from your lordship in a poetry session, in a spoken word, basically. And then the very last two, they are uh, bonus tracks. And uh, these these two bonus tracks in particular from this EP um, is is just insane. Uh, there's Despicable Heroes, a vocal cover of, from Arch Enemy. I love Arch Enemy. I really do. Um, especially Angela the Ghost's uh, vocals when she was in the band. Um, currently, she's not. I really wish she was. But Despicable Heroes... It's from Anthems of Rebellion. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. And um, I wanted to make a vocal cover um, dedicated to Andrew the Goso and and, uh, and and just and just and, and, and to all the the you know the the fans of, of um Arch Enemy. I really love Arch Enemy's old works, especially the the very first albums, um, and and every other album, um, it's it, it's it's just incredible. Literally, it's amazing. So, Despicable Heroes is a a very heavy heavy track. Um, right then, there at the very beginning, you hear the scream, and then the music just goes full blast. So, that's 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 insane. It's insane. And last but not least, is a uh, succubus slut. It's the um, weird title, I know, but, uh, it's from the, uh, band Sons of Valor. It's another vocal cover. Yes, and, uh, this one, it's, it's pretty much like a, um, like, seductress that led to, led, led the afar, the astray from the, uh, from the cult of, of, um, of civilization. And uh, yes, this is this is from from the um, the animated uh, se- film Realm of the Damned, uh, and uh, it's 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 a little tribute to uh, the Realm of the Damned movie. Um, I I love I love I love that film. It's it's truly insane. It has uh, Joe Janis from Huntress. Um, rest in peace. Um, Danny Filth from Cradle Filth. The voice, the voice of Bala, um, is Danny Filth. So I, I love, I love, I love that, I love that voice. Um, Danny's an iconic legend, um, from Cradle Filth. Yes, and uh, and uh, yeah, it's it, I, I, I believe Doug Bradley's in it as well. The one that does Pinhead. So, that's the other plus from uh, um, from. From the Sons of Bala vocal cover. Um, so the last two tracks in particular are um, bonus tracks. Uh, the bonus uh, uh, vocal covers. So that's pretty much it. Um, all of all of that will be released on um, 
December December 8th at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Um, and this will be, um, yeah, this, if, if, if you're in mountain time, it would be, uh, two hours before. If you're in, a like, California, three, uh, three hours before. So, yeah, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be really, really intriguing. So, yeah, I can't wait. I've already remixed the audio. I've already made the album cover. And all I have to do is put it together and then post it so this has been freezer cold with a little um with a little special message um a little what to expect from the, from my new ep that's coming up tomorrow morning so stay tuned be prepared and i'll see you in the next video okay okay bye